Hey guys, good morning. It is a beautiful cold day down here in St. Mary's, Georgia on the southeast Georgia coast. If you hadn't watched my show before, so you know where I'm at. Uh, this is a tidal river. Tides go up and down and it's really low right now, which they say, those people say, it's the best fishing. So, we're going to see today I'm without Paul. Paul's got a little physical ailment. His ribs are hurting him. He hurt his ribs the other day. So, I am uh, so low this morning. I'm going to see what I can come across out here. The water temperature is 55 degrees. We went to Nassau yesterday, the Nassau River down in Florida. It's not far from here. As a matter of fact, that's Florida right there. On the other bank is Florida. On this bank is Georgia. So, we were down in Florida fishing yesterday and the water temperature was more like 57. So, uh, this water up here is a little bit cooler, maybe just because of the cold temperatures last night. So, uh, let's see what we can get into, man. We're going to pan fish. I got a bunch of new stuff. All right. There's a little guy. There's a little guy. <laughs> Tiny. To start, though. Start. All right. Come to our spot we like. First thing, there we go. Tried a new spot we had found last time we were fishing. There for about 20 minutes, I didn't get nothing. But right here, there's one. There's one. Now, let's see what happens right here. One. Feels like a good one. Not bad. Not bad. All right, man. Good deal. Good deal. I like that guy. I like that guy. Let's try it again. All right, here we go again. Not a big one, but a nice fish. A nice fish. Now I've been catching them on this uh, baby shad, Bobby Garland bait. This has a one sixteenth ounce head. Um, I've also caught them on a one eighth ounce head. They're not just slamming it. I mean, it's a pretty light bite. That small one, really small, maybe, little bitty baby, here's something else, see what we got, crappie, little, little crappie, the little guy's out today. These guys have been a little more shallow for the most part um, than what me and Paul have been catching. We've been catching fish a little bit deeper and they're not biting just one right after the other. Like I won't catch one and then throw right back in behind it and catch another one. That really hadn't been happening. Well, my bite kind of died down there for a little bit. So I changed colors, put on a white one. Got this little guy. The current's really coming in now. The water's come up a good bit and it's really flowing pretty hard. So I guess it's kind of changed things up for me. Well, it's been a while again. <laughs> the bite really slowed down. These fish are not getting bigger. That is not bigger. All right. There we go. Warmouth. Well, it was a warmouth. Take my word for it. What would I lie? 
about a fish. All right. Lord. <laughs> I didn't think it's going to be this little. But that's a little baby. That's a little baby. Okay. All right. Knocking the fire out of it, them little babies. Let's see if I can get another one. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, good morning. By myself again today, Paul's a little down in his ribs. A little down in his ribs. Most people get down in their back. Paul's down in his ribs. Uh, but anyway, it's a great combination this morning, cold and windy. Uh, if you're a little older, you really like that. That's really, that really helps you out. Um, but that's, that's what I'm facing. So uh, right now I got an outgoing tide. I am, uh, and it's pulling pretty good right now, but I don't think I got too much longer of that. So I'm mainly going to be fishing the incoming tide today. We'll see how we do. Uh, I'm on the Nassau River again, and uh, we're going for crappie. I wanted to put in St. Mary's, but that uh, that ramp when you got low water over there is, is a little sketchy. If you guys uh, live over there and use that ramp, you know what I mean. It's not somewhere you want to go on a low water mark. First one's a good one. Nice. There we go. Good start, man. Good start. Fat dude. Pretty. That's a big one. Copperhead. Look at that guy. I don't know if y'all can see these colors on them, but it's a pretty fish. Maybe that's what's hitting me. I've had a bunch of, I keep getting bites, but they're not getting it. So it would make sense if it's brim because you know, their mouths aren't that big. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So that's a lighter jig. So maybe that slower, uh, maybe that slower fall is going to be the key. I hope. Hope that's what it is. Nice one. Another good one. So I've caught one on the heavy jig, one on the light jig. And one on the spinner. Three different colors. That's not a pattern. Alright, that one thumped it pretty good. Another decent one. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Kind of figuring it out a little bit, I think. I think. Let's see if I can do it again. Nice big red breast. Size. Pretty. Another one. They like this little road runner. Apparently, it's their color. Huh. I 
kept getting bites here on my jigs and they wasn't getting it. So I thought I'd switch over to this and see if they'd be more aggressive on a, you know, something that made them react. Wow. Another one of these big dudes. Hmm. Nice. Big boy. Woo. Now y'all may not realize it, but it's been a while since I caught one. Thank goodness for editing. So you guys don't have to watch all that mess while I'm not catching fish. Ugh. but he's mine. Little guy. Man, that's the smallest one of the day. By far. spot today okay guys that is it for the day uh, a good early bite but then it kind of stopped once uh, the tide quit going out and just never did really pick back up I caught a few scattered fish after that but I just never could get anything going once that tide stopped so uh, I may put this with another video we may put two trips together i went to st mary's the other day kind of the same thing happened to me except the fish were smaller at st mary's now we're here so uh thanks for watching guys y'all have a good day bye